Hello learners, in this lecture we will see how to apply the water tank load on the slab. Now this is a model what I have and let us consider that over this particular slab, over this particular slab I am going to keep a water tank here, right? That means I need to apply the load of that water tank on this slab, right? Now we will try to do the calculation of that water tank load. So how do you do the calculation of that water tank load? Let us consider. I need some 8,000 liters of the, yeah, let me make it as 8,000, yeah, 8,000 liters of water is what I need to store, right? That comes out to be 8 cubic meter because 1,000 1, liter, 1,000 liter is equal to 1 cubic meter. If it is 8,000 liter, it comes out to be 8 cubic meter. Now, after that, what I'm going to do, I'll measure the area what I have here. Let us consider on the entire tank, I'm, on the entire slab, I'm going to keep the water tank. So if you want to measure the dimension here, go to the option called draw. And this option called draw dimension lines. Hmm. Select this from this point to this point And from here to here, select it. And whatever area you are getting, you know, try to multiply that area. I am getting 2.86. Let me consider this to be 2.8. I will do that manually. 2.86 into what area you are getting here? It is 5.409. We will consider this to be 5.4 into 5.4. If you multiply 2.86 and 5.4, we are getting 15.44 square meter. Let me write it here. We are getting 15.44 square meter. This is the area and the capacity of what we have is 8 cubic meter or let us say 8000 liters. Now we'll try to find the height of that. So this height, if you want to find the height of that till what height you are going to do. So whatever is your capacity that is 8 cubic meter divided by the area what is there that is 15. 4, 4. So this is in cubic meter, this is in square meter, the answer will be in terms of meter and that will be the height of my tank and that will be the weight for that. So what to do? 8 divided by 15.44. So I'm getting 0 0.518. So I'm getting the answer as 0 0.518 meter and now we know the unit weight of water that is density of the water is equal to 10 kilo Newton per cubic meter. Try to multiply that with this. If you multiply that, try to multiply that is 0 0.518 multiplied by 10. Right. Uh, so if I do that into 10, I'm getting 5.18. Let us say 5.2 and the unit will be kilo Newton per square meter. This is a load on that particular slab. Why? Because this is cubic meter and this is in square uh, and this is 0 0.58 is in meter, right? This is kilo Newton per cubic meter. This meter gone, meter gone. The answer is kilo Newton per square meter. So 5.2 kilo Newton per square meter is a load coming on this slab due to the water tank of 8000 liter capacity, right? That's it. What I go, what I'm going to do? Clear everything. Select this. Unlock the model. Select this slab. Yeah. Keep it on one story. Select this slab. Go to assign. Go to shell load. Go to uniform. And here under the SIDL load, since it's a superimposed dead load of water tank, apply 5.2. 5.2. Kilo Newton per square meter is answer what I have got. Apply it and 5.2 kilo Newton per square meter is a SIDL load that is a water tank load on this particular slab. So in this way you need to calculate the load that is coming on the slab of, uh, of the water tank and you can try to apply that. So it based on your capacity you have to do this calculation. The calculation remains very simple. Whatever is the area of that particular slab try to take it out right and after that uh, whatever is your height whatever is the capacity of your tank take it out and height is equal to whatever is your capacity divided by the area that you are getting and whatever answer you get multiply by 10 because 10 is a unit weight of water and whatever answer you are getting that is kilonewton per square meter that is a load that is uh, coming on this particular slab 
so in this way you can do the do the calculation for the water tank load i hope uh, these things are understood up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you